Hey YouTube fam, so this is my first official YouTube video. Um, I am Tall Trends, uh, at least that's what I go by on YouTube. Um, just a little bit of background about what this YouTube channel is going to be about without it being too lengthy. I am a 6'3 plus size woman. Um, I wear a size between 11 and 12 US size, 42 to 43 uh, European size. Um, I would say large to 2XL, depending on the brand. So this YouTube channel is going to feature a uh, fashion for tall plus size women. Um, and also I have uh, an extremely large head. Um, so I'm going to talk about how I rock my hair uh, having such a big head. I typically keep my natural hair um, braided. Um, today we're going to be talking about some synthetic wigs that actually fit my head. So my head measures 24.5 inches in circumference. When I make my wigs for myself, I do so on a very stretchy cap and I do so on a 25 inch circumference dome head. Um, and I typically uh, machine sew my wigs because it gives you a lot more stretch than if you hand sew. That way, no matter what is going on with my natural hair underneath, I am confident that I'll be able to put my wigs on. Um, I'll also be talking about, you know, in future posts, um, human hair pre-made wigs that actually fit my head. And that's pretty, pretty rare. Whenever I look on YouTube or on the internet for, uh, I would say, big head friendly wigs, most of the women who are posting, if not all of the women who are posting um, this content, their head measures about 23 inches in circumference. So if you know, um, the average size head is 21 to 22 inches. Um, and this is usually like around a medium uh, cap size. And that's like the standard um, wig cap size that you'll find from most wig manufacturers. Every blue moon, you might find a manufacturer who does custom, um, but you have to wait a rather long time to get your wig. Or they might have a large cap, um, and that is 23.5 inches. So when you're someone who maybe you have an average size head, but you have a lot of hair or you have dreads, or maybe you just have a larger head, um, th these wigs that uh, YouTube um, influencers are featuring are not gonna fit our heads. And so uh, I've been sorely disappointed over the years trying to find synthetic um, and human hair pre-made wigs that I could just throw on and they actually fit my head and they don't give me a headache. Uh, for the most part, they're pretty non-existent. Um, but every blue moon, I do run into wigs that actually fit that are pre-made. Um, and listen, I buy as many as I possibly can. <laughs> um, so today we're going to be talking about a synthetic wig called uh, Tyrena from the Sensational What Lace um, line. And I have been finding that these wigs from the What Lace line uh, can stretch pretty well. The reason why they fit is because these are frontals. They go ear to ear. So maybe that somehow gives more space or movement or I don't know, but it's been working. So I got this Tyrena wig in two colors. I got it in jet black and I also have it in um, a ombre mix. So it goes from the dark root to 613, the 613 color. Now, the reason why I'm going to put on both of these wigs is because I wear them differently. And I kind of want to tell you how I wear them, um, how I wash them um and how like i kind of keep them up to last as long as i possibly can um i've already cut the lace on these two um in future videos i will show some other wigs where i show that i'm cutting the lace and all that but only if you're interested i don't know if you know that would be helpful to you all or not so first thing i'm just going to talk about how i prep my hair so my hair is natural um so i use this Lock Sanity moisturizer and it works really well. It doesn't flake a lot. I typically just spray this all over my braids to keep moisture in it. I do wash my braids too. I wash my braids um, either once or twice a week, just depending on what's going on. 
with shampoo and conditioner and my braids are in so well that they don't move um so you can either like kind of massage you know the moisturizer in or you could brush it in i don't know why i like brushing mine in probably just because it feels good <laughs> so i'm just gonna brush these in and then um i like to um use edge booster as my edge control i don't sleep with this in my hair so i put it on every morning uh, when i'm gonna put on my wigs and then um at night when i'm done for the day i actually rinse it out of my hair with water um, while i'm like washing my face so you know you use any edge control brush just sort of dip mine in there and just so you could see and of course like all edge control it's I don't know any edge control that's going to last forever unless you put gel on top of it and maybe like got to be. But for me, it's not that serious because my wigs, when I purchase wigs, I make sure that they cover most of what's going on over here. So that I don't really have to worry too much about if my edge control gives out on me. Um, but typically if I'm not like sweating or if it's not like super hot outside, um, my edges tend to stay pretty slick. All right. So we got the slickage going on. Don't mind my period bump. Um, yep. All right. Or mind it, whatever makes you happy. All right. So I'm going to try on the black Tarina wig first. This is it right here. Um, not as shiny as you typically see um, synthetic wigs. And I think this one is kind of, it's because it's more of like a yucky texture. So when I purchase um, wigs, nine times out of 10, I'm going for the yucky texture because I just don't, I don't really rock well with the overly silky, shiny look. All right, so I'm stretching this over my really large head, okay? I've already departed it. And I actually cut a piece right here because I'm wearing this as a side part. Now, there are three combs in this wig, which I'm going to show you where, they're, where they are on the this blonde one here. All right, so there is two combs on the sides and then there's this comb in the middle i hate all of them um by the way and the one in the middle always catches on my braids and it really bothers me um i just been too lazy to to take them out now i want you to see i cut off most of my lace because i don't really do deal, like dealing with lace but my lace isn't tinted um and this one just has like a little bit of makeup on it but it's fading off i rinsed it out the other day like i rinsed out the got to be so you can still see like some of um you know the knots there but it's not completely horrible and you can hide it with makeup i know some people like to leave a bit more lace and that's fine i feel like because it's transparent it's very easy for you to tint it whatever shade that you want um and you should it should be good to go um, but like I said, I wear mine with most of my lace cut off. Now, as you can see where this stops at for a pre-made synthetic manufactured wig, we got about that much hair out on this side and the ear tab is right here. So that's where it's stopping on this side. Okay. So of course, because I'm wearing it as a side part. Um, you're going to have a lot of the bulk on this side. Um, and this hair is actually very easy to style, like just like that with my hand. I just pushed it for it because of the way that it's cut. It automatically kind of gives this layered bob cute look. Um, and you could actually hold it with got to be spray. I got to be spray my synthetic wigs from this line all of the time. And then when there's a lot of buildup, I just soak it in hot water. I don't really even use vinegar. I think some people use vinegar. Or you could use just, if you're trying to wash it, just a little bit of conditioner and shampoo or dishwater and just kind of let it sit in there to get it all out. I think for me, I think vinegar would be too hard 
on it or I would change the texture. So um, I haven't tried that method. Um, what I will do is, since I have this side part here, um, I don't like using the combs so it doesn't move. I put in bobby pins right behind the combs and it kind of like catches. I don't know the best way to explain that or if you can even see, but you'll kind of feel the bobby pin catch. And you want to make sure that it's like not sticking out. So I make sure it's like hidden. So I have one on that side. Sometimes I put one in the middle, depending on what type of night I think I'm gonna have. Like, am I gonna be on the back of somebody's motorcycle? Like, is it gonna be windy outside? Am I gonna be on a yacht? Like to ask yourself all these questions all right so i have my pins on each side okay i'm thinking that's kind of where i want that all right now um i didn't pluck mine um and that's typically because i kind of wear it a bit forward but um i see other i think i think it's i heart cupcakes that I follow who's also plus size tall and she does like a lot of videos on um on wigs especially synthetic wigs seen her pluck um her synthetic wigs and they actually look pretty nice and I'm not the best plucker so I try to like wear my wigs where I don't have to do that so anywho um I actually go in with uh more of this edge control and that little piece that I cut off I typically try to swoop it into something um, and I'm also not the best at baby hairs but practice right gives us potential um so you see I have that there, kind of close up on here. Um, and then I know a lot of folks talk about the chemistry between like water and gels and got to bees. I just want you to know I'm not a chemist um, and I didn't look up any of this stuff. My background is in linguistics, <laughs> um, but I do love like wigs and hair and I just try to do the best that works for me. So if you want to comment below how you think this reacts or if you have a better combo by all means share your knowledge to the world and then I actually spray this um and then I just spray a little bit here sometimes I'll do baby hairs here and sometimes I won't um it just kind of depends on how I'm aware the wig I'll show you what I do kind of like on the other one all right, so I have that there, and then I'm going to tie this now. So for me, I'm trying to make things like quick and simple, okay? So I wanna be like in and out as quickly as possible when it comes to wig wear. Um, so I would typically get a blow dryer, which I'm going to get up and do in a minute. And, um, I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's dry and basically how I wear it. And I'll also show some pictures somewhere of a, um, outfit that I wear with this wig. It's on my IG account. You could hop over there and look at it too. Kind of like how I styled it, um, when I went out. All right. So, um... I'm gonna go ahead and take this little thingamajig off and you know it's dry so I'm just pulling it off here and as you can see some of the hairs came down when you spray it which I, I kind of like because to me that looks more natural I um, push it forward like this and then I'll put um, more got to be spray right here and I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm not wearing this out anywhere. Um, you know, sometimes you could tuck this part behind the ear if you're feeling a little, a little swanky. 
Um, and then sometimes I use, I might have one. I'm going to get the clip, the little girl, I don't even know what they call. I got to Google it. I'll be right back. So I can't find it. <laughs> uh, but there is going to be a picture that comes up somewhere where you can see that whenever I wear um, my hair to the side, I have one of those cute little hair pieces that lay this part down flat. And actually it's great because it, it hides your edges. <laughs> uh, so that's kind of like a cheat that I do. And it keeps my ear from kind of sticking out like that, which I don't really like. So it kind of keeps the hair more um, in place, I think. So yeah, so this is um, how I typically wear um, the black wig. As you can see, it's a ton of fun. It's super cute. It's very lightweight and it's good for the summer. I should turn around, huh? Let me let me see if I could do that. This is all so new to me, so no. Don't be trying to look at my back fat. Okay, so I, this is how it looks in the back. So there's not like a ton of hair back here, but I kind of like that. You know, I think it's a great summer wig. You can also wear, of course, during the winter with your high collar jackets um, and make it a whole shebang, bang, bang. All right, so that's the black one. Um, I guess we should jump straight into the blonde one, yeah? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. It's, it, look, it's holding on, it's holding on. And also because I have, you see the bobby pins in there so it keeps it in place all right so that's that now we fence to throw on this blonde one i'm just gonna comb her out a little bit so i don't have that extra cut piece on the side um i'm not sure if i showed like a really good can you see can you see i don't know if you can see that's the inside but um, it's stretching over my head, even with these little thingies in here. And I usually cut those out because um, my head be so big. But the stretch on this is real. So I'm going to go downwards. I kind of want to see if you'll be able to see me get this over everything. If not, I'm sorry. But I promise you it's completely covering the back of my braids. So I'm going to turn around again. Y'all don't be looking at my back there. All right, so see, so it's all the way down. I have a lot of room. Uh, girl. Okay. So you wear this one without the little cut swoop thing going on. And I actually put like a lot more like itty bitty baby hairs in this one. Um, and I'm gonna put up a picture somewhere so you can see how i rock this because on camera i'm not gonna put in all these little itty bitty baby hairs i think i need to be in the mirror like i'm really really hoping that um you can all see this in this camera light all right so here's the ombre blind unit so i'm still doing the same you know side shebang what's going on here this hair this one's a little less stiff because i just like really um washed it and when i mean wash i mean just soak in water and shampoo and stuff so you can see it's bouncy it's not as stiff as my other one which currently has like a lot of product in it um and the black one i just rinsed off like all the gook and stuff from the front um but so as you can see it's also a yucky, a yucky texture. I did not pluck my hairline, but I think it still looks pretty good, if you want me to be honest. Um, and you know, like I said, I ain't going to be about that plucking life. So now, same thing. I'm going to end up putting the bobby pins on each side, so she won't be trying to fly off or nothing like that. And it's really, honestly, it's secure. If you're like me, you have a larger head. It ain't going somewhere. Somebody really got to be like up on you and trying to yank and pull your wig off. And I hope we're not doing that in 2023. So um, same thing. You could also wear her behind the ear. And the great thing about that, you know, if you end up slicking back your edges, right, you have a lot more to kind of like 
play around with because you know your edge is looking like it's you know part of the wig because it's so it's so much slickage going on all right so there she is super cute i've worn this blonde one out quite a bit um i would say i've had this wig since um maybe december i have to double check i think i've had it since december and at one point i was wearing it like every week to go out on friday nights with my friends having fun just living it up in this wig um i believe this wig is still on sale um on amazon you should be able to also find it at your local beauty uh store i purchased mine in savannah um and i went on amazon and i saw that they were also on amazon i bought the black one from sisters beauty too Honestly, I should buy this in every color. It, you know, just track it down and buy it. It's it's an amazing wig. Now, as far as price, the, the price be ranging. So, uh, depending, it go from anywhere from forty to eighty dollars, depending on where you get your wig from. So, all I can say is do your research. But let's talk about it. You're getting it in a color. Let's say you like color. We all know if you try to get a human hair wig in color it's it's gonna be costing you right um you're gonna have to find somebody to color it for you or you're gonna have to get it pre pre-colored right um for maybe aliexpress and you, you're hoping that the hair good after you don't spend all this money on it it's probably not even gonna last as long as the synthetic wig and like i said if you um place your wigs in warm um water a little bit of hot water whatever not not scorching not don't don't scorch the hair don't put it at boiling point but um and you know you soak it with some shampoo or some conditioner get all that stuff out the wigs is gonna last a pretty long time especially if you switch your wigs out a lot now if you're trying to wear her every day i don't know what to tell you um now the black one i started off with this as my workout wig and i was working out in her monday wednesday friday and look she was getting the business she was all sweated up and gunky and then one day because i don't really like jet black hair i feel like it washes me out i typically like 1b or number two but uh girl after i had and gave her that little side swoop she is no longer a workout wig so um i'm gonna leave all the information below about this wig where you can find it on amazon um i'll also link the sensational site uh if you have any questions uh let me know and i hope that i see y'all again this was actually kind of fun looking at myself in the camera is weird but um i hope that for all my um ladies out there who have larger heads i like to call it lux grand i have a lux grand head sounds sounds kind of sexy um that this is going to be the place that you could come because you know every wig that i'm have on like it's it's for me because my head big so um i will be also talking about and some future videos um the butter lace line but don't get excited now don't go out there and start buying all these butter lace line wigs if your head is big because not all of them fit okay in my experience most of them don't fit but the ones that do fit kind of are i got some workarounds some you know some realistic workarounds i'm going to be featuring those i also have some longer yaki textured uh sensational wet lace wigs that um, I'm gonna feature. And most excitingly, I found some um, pre-plucked, uh, knots bleached, pre-cut, custom-made human hair wigs, y'all. So we're gonna be talking about those two. But anyways, fam, I love you. Thanks for listening to me babble. And I hope that this helped you. And as I create more content, I will do my best to, um, I don't know, make it viewable, watchable, informational. <laughs>